Lego lovers from all over the world will be in Northeast Minneapolis this weekend for World War Brick. It's the biggest event of its kind dedicated to modeling historical and military related scenes out of Lego bricks. Heidi Wigdahl shows us how it all got started. It's a familiar sound and toy. But at Brick Mania in Minneapolis, the familiar meets the unexpected. Their jaw drops because they're seeing something that they could never imagine being built uh, with, you know, with Lego bricks. But it's always something that they can relate to because everybody has that little box of bricks at home somewhere. Daniel Siskind is the mastermind behind Brick Mania. So we take stock Lego bricks and figures and pieces and we just make our own models. He took a hobby that started in his basement more than 20 years yeah. ago. This is the design room and built an empire with five brick and mortar stores in the U.S. Brickmania specializes in custom military building kits, something Lego won't touch. Been part of the company's policy since, you know, back in the 40s. Shortly after World War II, they decided they didn't want to have anything to do with the military uh, just because of, you know, it, it was a raw nerve in Europe at the time, especially at, at, after World War II. Daniel didn't set out to specialize in them, but something clicked. And it was basically demand from our customers. As a lifelong Lego fan, Brickmania sticks to buying authentic bricks, dreaming up 150 to 200 new designs a year. So three to four new designs per week. Yeah. <laughs> Prices start as low as 25 cents, with some sets retailing for $5,000. Just this one piece that, that Dylan's standing by. In total, this Roman fort cost fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. Each one of these figures is completely custom. 3D printing everything from the shield to the armor. This piece will be on display during World War Brick. And World War Brick was started because we would go, we would go to Lego fan events, and and maybe it was the subject matter that we were doing, but we kind of were shunned at some of our uh, some of these events that we went to. Now thousands come together to share their love of modeling historical and military related scenes. Never in my imagination. You know, wildest imagination would we have events like this. Building a business from the brick up. Heidi Wigdahl, CARE 11 News. About 150 displayers will be at World War Brick. It's open to the public Saturday and Sunday, and you can buy tickets online or at the door. Some of the events will raise money for the Mission Project to help homeless veterans.